Bhagavad Gita, text 4.3 It is this very same ancient teaching of yoga that I am teaching you today. It is the ultimate secret, but I tell it to you because you are my trusted devotee and friend. Krishna privileges Arjuna with this secret knowledge because of their mutual friendship and Arjuna's devotion to him. In the humility, in the humility natural to a devotee of Krishna, Arjuna did not consider himself to have the stature of great kings and gods, much less a spiritual visionary. However, in actually true devotees of Krishna, what to speak of his friends, are much greater than either kings or gods, and they set the standard for saintliness. Krishna begins to introduce the qualifications of Arjuna in verse 2 by addressing him as Parantapa, destroyer of enemies. Here it indicates his sense control, as in the case as his well-known indifference towards the heavenly damsel Urvashi. Footnote 3. Urvashi was very eager to have an affair with Arjuna, whom she considered the strongest human being. She met him and expressed her desires. But Arjuna sustained his impeccable character by closing his eyes before her and addressing her as mother of the Kuru dynasty. Krishna then reveals that the transmission of spiritual knowledge from guru to disciple requires that the disciple understands the heart of the guru as in talks between friends in the language of love. By using the words rahasyam and uttamam, Krishna indicates that karma yoga, as he is teaching it, culminates in bhakti, the supreme secret. Footnote 4. See Bhagavad Gita 9.2, Raja Guyam. In this verse, the word bhakti, bhakto, appears for the first time in the Gita. Arjuna's devotion is his principal qualification for understanding the mystery of the Gita. As much as Krishna's introductory statements regarding the history and dissemination of his teaching are intended to solidify Arjuna's conviction, the first verse of this chapter also causes further confusion in Arjuna's mind. In questioning it, Arjuna enables Krishna to explain the nature of his descent.